I love this landscape. It is home. There isn't any other place for me. Life is very short. You can't have five homes. People say, I got a second home. I'm a farmer and a painter. Uh, and I started painting the valley landscape after I realized that I would never own the studio in Carmel or Sausalito and paint that wave with the green light. I knew I would never do that. We take time to walk due east. And it changes our life. The challenge is how can we become curious? I think, how can we love? How can we do that? And I guess maybe it is, how can we not? It's how we come into existence. Without that, we never light up. As human beings, we designate lines on the landscape. But uh, the topographic maps depict a different kind of line, and that is the physical character of the landscape. And being able to show the way we understand, along with the image that sort of we can be sort of mystified by, uh, I've found is it's you know it's important for me to kind of show this together. So, what is the Kuia? Well, you know, for me, the Kuia is the river. You know, the actual water that's flowing through the rocks. But it's, it's also it goes a lot deeper for me. Mm -hmm. uh, my family settled along the Kuia clear back oh, late 1850s. And so it represents the flow of generations. I come from a, an old pioneer family, and, and your roots come through Texas. Texas and, and Mexico, and, and uh, farm, farm laborers in the valley. Yeah. yeah. And I'm only third generation, and you're, I don't know how many well, generations. Fifth or something. <laughs> and, um, but growing up, you weren't necessarily aware of that no. aspect of your roots in the land. No, it was... Um, I mean, I kind of arrived at this aha experience relatively late in life. I mean, you know, I can pinpoint it uh, at a time and clear back about 1994. Yeah. And for me, yeah, for me, I, I just, I started seeing in a different way, in an artistic way, um, learning how to draw and paint. Um, and just one day I decided to take a drive down Almonte Way uh, into the foothills uh, to do some painting and it was so clear it was I mean I it was sparkling clear and you could see the high peaks down the road and I had no idea what I was looking at and for some reason I never underst I didn't understand why I never saw it that clear before the executive director for Arts Visalia contacted me and so then came the idea of having an exhibit SRT envisioned it as a festival um, to use their preserve. Yeah, and, and it seemed to have hit a responsive note uh, among people who attended, you know, that, that this is something they'd wanted to see and hear for a long time. Uh, to become, a, have an intelligent, uh, yet non-political discussion. I mean, because that's one of the things that's really powered us is we don't want this to be about politics. Painting for me is a kind of an autobiography. I mean, we need to be able, you wouldn't write a story about something you didn't know anything about. I do remember painting everything but the valley in my 20s. I started painting what I thought were pretty subjects. I painted in the foothills, which I still do. I love the foothills, but I didn't grow up in the foothills. I grew up on the farm. We've got a beauty that's absolutely unique, utterly uh, one of a kind. Uh, and I think uh, we don't have to say uh, we're going to go somewhere else always to find beauty. I think it's right here.
Standing here looking for something Something that's not here anymore So uh, this is Shade Quarter Mountain and uh, if we come over here on the other side of this bush you can see the view uh, right here it's just amazing you've got uh, Laurel Rock dead center and uh, the Great Western Divide just beyond it with Castle Rocks on the, the right. 